As fun as this time of year, I hope will be for all of us. The holiday season can bring with it a lot of stress, a lot of franticness, and sometimes a lot of self doubt about who we are, especially as women. So you are in luck this morning because we had the great privilege of talking with Mary Ann Robot. She has written a book called Tolera master your energy, master your life. She herself has walked the walk that many of us have and found a way to kind of pull away uh, and recenter herself. And she's there sharing that with us in this book. So nice to talk to you this morning, Marianne. So great to be here, Julie. Thank you for having me. I know that's a very, very gross, uh, quick overview of the book, but it is sort of true that as women, especially, we live this path that we think we're supposed to live and then we end up coming up short. Absolutely. I think if we look at the archetypes of woman and motherhood, we're trained from very early on to put others before us, to take care of everything else, or to always do the right thing. And what happens is as we go along, we lose our, our center, we lose our core, we lose our sense of ourselves. And so Tolera really is a a process to get you back to you by not only working on your mindset, but working in the energy and how energy can really help us attract what it is that we desire. Okay, so that might mean something different for each of us as we were to go through this journey, but would you say that your energy can kind of get stuck? So does that mean that if you've gone through a really stressful even period of your life, you can be kind of frozen in that mindset? Exactly, exactly. What happens is if we suffer a trauma or we've gone through a stress, so something got taken away from us, like our jobs, our careers, or maybe you didn't get the promotion you wanted, or your your marriage fell apart. These are moments where we're caused to look at our role in it, but at the same time as we're experiencing it, we tend to freeze, we freeze in that moment. And our thoughts can go to the negative, like we start beating up on ourselves. And once our thoughts are in the negative, our energetic um, vibration is negative. So we are only seeing or experiencing this dense situation. And if you can free your thoughts up and you free your energy by releasing all that negativity, it helps you to see what the lessons were or, or how you can grow from whatever the experience was. So how big of a player in this healing is time? <laughs> I love that. And I love that because that was one of my big things. Um, I, I lived into three beliefs. Um, there wasn't enough time. I had to be responsible for everything. And I was always obligated to do things. Mm. And this is what happens. We take on these beliefs from childhood. And what it does is it begins to limit our capacity. Mm -hmm. And so if we believe like there's never enough time, there never will be enough time. Mm -hmm. But if we believe that we have more than enough time to grow, to learn, to shift, to change, or to do whatever we want to, it's almost like time can expand for us. So our thoughts really are creating our reality. I have a, an 18 year old daughter, hard for me to say, she just turned 18. Uh, <laughs> and so life is all ahead of her right now. And I catch myself saying to her often, don't try to have a plan entirely. You just have to do what's right for you in this day, and that will lead you to the next right thing. So is part of it too learning to not be so rigid and listening more I, to who we are? I love that. Yes, because what you're really teaching your daughter is looking into knowing that life is going to unfold for her. There will be opportunities and possibilities that will show up along the way. But if you, we're so focused or we have tunnel vision of achieving one thing, we miss some of our possibilities and opportunities. There is there's no way we can touch on everything in the book, so I want to make sure I hit some things before I have to let you run. Uh, you sure. say that there are four levels of experience, physical, emotional, spiritual, and energetic. So can you quickly touch on what those differences are? 
Yes. So um, we are spiritual beings, right? We come from this beautiful source of energy, whether we believe in God or universal energy or Muhammad or whatever, but we come from a greater source than ourselves. And that is our, uh, the spiritual energy. And it's important for us to have the connection to that. And the energetics are, how I like to think about it is the energetic highway between the, the person um, and the physical in their spiritual self. Mm. And what happens is for every thought we have or every experience we have, sometimes it creates these energetic blocks in that field. So it becomes hard for us to connect with our, our higher knowing or our inner wisdom. So we want to clear out those blocks. And then the physical is our chakra system and um, what energy we might be holding on to that's keeping us stuck. And the emotional is really around our mindset. What are our beliefs? How are they serving us? Do, do you live by empowering beliefs or do you live into limiting beliefs? Uh, you are what you think. Yes, you so are. <laughs> let me ask you this. I have to, I have to run. Uh, this would be a great read for yourself, I would think, to get through this crazy few weeks that we go through every year. Fun, but hectic. Um, also good for New Year's resolution ideas, but it's a wonderful gift to give this season as well. Yes, absolutely. In the book, there'll be some exercises and self-reflection that you can do to be clear on how do you want to set up your next year? What do you want to give up? What's causing you uh, to not feel the level of happiness and joy that you want? And you know what I love too, as I wrap it up, the book will be as individual as each person who reads it. You're not asking people to step into a formula, you're asking them to be their own unique selves. Exactly. What a pleasure to talk to you, Marianne. Thank you for using your talents to give the rest of us some encouragement. I appreciate um, it. You're so welcome, Julie. Have so a good day. You have a great day as well. And that's a website for her. You can learn more um, because she does do the coaching and everything as well. MarianneRobot.com. Uh, you can find her. The email is there and her phone number as well, as you could hear in that beautiful accent of hers. She's up in the Boston area. Thank you again. Okay, take care.